What is going on YouTube? This is yours truly, Antrim Ray, coming at you guys with another video. And before we go in, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. Today's video is going to be about violent home invasions. I know we've done this before, uh, but I try to do at least two of these videos per year to keep that battery in your back about being alert when you're at home and when you're out in the streets. Uh, but there has been a uh, plethora of violent home invasions and intended uh, home invasions. And uh, I just want to kind of touch on that subject again. And uh, we're going to watch a few clips on the subject. And then we're going to come right back and discuss it. Stand by. Tonight, Houston police are looking for a killer who murdered a mother of two on Houston's east side. It happened last night at an apartment complex on Fleming Drive near the East Freeway. We have learned that two children were inside when the violence broke out. Fox 26's Jade Flurry reports. Police are still trying to put together what exactly happened here at the Timber Ridge Apartments, but the family of the 26-year-old mother of two says she was a loving mother, sister, and aunt. Just before 10 p.m. Sunday night, police received a call of a shooting and home invasion. I heard some shots woke me up out my sleep last night. Upon arriving at the Timber Ridge Apartments, police found a woman with a gunshot wound. She was pronounced dead at the scene. When I woke up, look out the window, I saw ambulances everywhere, and fire trucks, and police. According to police, a man, woman, and two young children were inside the apartment when two men tried to break in. According to him, a couple males possibly who are related to each other who he knows, but their, their relationship is unclear. He says he's run into him before out here, came over and tried to rob him in the apartment. Police say a shootout occurred between the woman and the intruders. She was shot and killed. The man and children were unharmed. During that robbery, there was an exchange of gunfire. The wife fired back at them while they were firing into the apartment. The Houston Police Department hasn't confirmed the name of the shooting victim. However, family members say she is 26-year-old Hope Renee Science. Her family says she was a very loving mother to her children. She was a hard worker, a loving sister, a daughter, aunt, and niece. Police say robbery seems to be the motive behind the shooting. It is nervy for my kids. Could they be out here? I don't want nothing to happen to them. Police are still looking for the two suspected shooters. If you or anyone you know have any information, please call the Houston Police Department. Reporting from Houston's East Side, Jade Flurry, Fox 26 News. However you feel about having guns in your home, and it is your Second Amendment choice, uh, this next video is a must see and it already has some people changing their minds. A group of violent armed home invaders wearing ski masks, charging the front door of a home in Washington state and announcing that they are the Seattle police. Spoiler alert, they are not the Seattle police. No, they're not. And in retrospect, I am willing to bet that they wish they had picked another home. Take a look. Seattle police. The gunfire was coming from inside the house. Homeowner wasn't buying the Seattle police trick and uh, wasn't going to wait for them to kick in the door either and fired multiple gunshots at these armed intruders. You saw the shattering glass and certainly did send them running for their lives. This happened about 2 o'clock in the morning on Thursday, and tonight police are still trying to figure out who those men were. There's no word if any of them was actually hit by the homeowner's gunfire, but I think it's fair to say they quite literally dodged a bullet. Mm. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage. All right, YouTube, let's get back to it. Now, as you can see in those videos and those clips, well, that is why you need a gun. People always wonder uh, why I have so many guns? Are you paranoid? Are you crazy? And all that blah, 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 blah. And I tell people the same thing over and over again. When it all hits the fan, and guess who's responsible for you? The police. No, sir. Police gets there in minutes, and violence happens in seconds. 
So you're on your own until the police get there. And my best advice to you is to go out there and get armed. Get you a pistol, get you a long gun, whatever it takes. Go out there and get armed and don't be a victim. Um, also, make sure that you secure uh, your property. Secure your property. Make sure you have your doors, uh, you know, reinforced. Because if I'm able to kick in your door and one kick and catch you in your box of draws with your PS5 joystick in your hand, guess what? You know, you're, you're done. Okay, so you gotta be alert. But you also have to have those, like I said, precautions and pre-alert indicators such as alarm systems, cameras, and reinforced doors and windows, and possibly a dog, if you're not a dog person, I understand, because they are uh, a huge responsibility. But you wanna heighten your alert uh, to the point that um, you don't want someone to be able to just get in in your house. Uh, luckily, uh, for those people that got their door kicked in, they were able to shoot back. But as you can see, the thugs, they shot back. Okay, and when someone breaks in your house, there's no guarantee that you're gonna come out alive. Unfortunately, in one of these videos, the young lady lost her life in a shootout uh, with, you know, the suspects, the criminals, I should say, the peasants, devils, whatever you wanna call them. Um, but don't be a victim. And uh, these anti-gun politicians talking about, uh, you know, how many rounds you can have uh, to defend yourself uh, should uh, actually not be voted for you gotta stop voting for people like this and unfortunately the agenda is being pushed down the throats of people that don't know any better they think that these people are working for the good of them they have these gun buyback programs uh they have all these gun uh free zones but not taking into account that criminals are not going to follow any law uh they're not going to follow any gun free law and they're not going to follow any magazine capacity uh, laws whatsoever. So if you got a 10 round magazine, they're gonna have a 50 round drum on you to your 10, okay? And that is definitely not fair. When a criminal breaks into my house, I wanna have all the advantage and all the um, stealth uh, to actually get the job done. And I'm just glad I live in a free state, the state of Georgia. We don't have to worry about uh, magazine restrictions, but I cannot just settle for uh, my state um, having those restrictions. We gotta fight for all Americans to have these rights. California, New York, all these uh, liberal states, um, you know, say DC, Chicago, my hometown is one of the worst places when it comes to gun laws. But when you look at Chicago, they have some of the worst violence, especially on the South side, because people in Chicago always say, well, as a whole, we're not the most violent city in the country. And I say, yep, yeah, but if you separate the city into two sides, the south side and the west side, I guarantee you that that uh, statistic will go very, very, very high. And they'll say, well, we got bad neighborhoods in, all over the country, but Chicago has large, large swaths of this, you know, war zones out there. And we have politicians that have the nerves uh, to try to disarm law-abiding citizens saying that, you know, making it harder for you to be able to get a firearm and also giving you a round count that does not benefit you, it benefits the criminals, okay? Don't tell me how many rounds it takes for me to defend myself and my family. Uh, nowadays, criminals are coming in in multitudes. When I say multitudes, you can have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, this goes on and on and on. And uh, it is unconstitutional for them to try to tell you how many rounds you can have uh, to defend yourself. Uh, it's unconstitutional when they say that you cannot have a brace on your firearm, um, you know, because basically when you take the brace off the firearm, it makes the gun less stable and you're not able to get precision shots. And actually it's a more dangerous gun because you're not going to be accurate and you're going to, you know, you can possibly miss and shoot something that's unintended. But the moral of the story is guys, get armed, do not be a victim in your home. Uh, don't be a victim when you go out as well. There was a young lady here in Atlanta. She was an Asian lady. She went out after, I guess, a night of partying or something, but she got snatched up by a stranger. She was brutally raped, murdered, and he was so evil that he raped her corpse. Yes, sir, you can look it up. Happened right in Buckhead about two to three weeks ago. Very sad story, and all I could wish is say, damn, I wish she was on to be able to save herself. I love watching stories when criminals bite the dirt when he thought it was sweet. I hate, 
you know, I want them to think that I'm a, a I want to, I'm dressed in sheep clothing, but I'm a wolf. You run up on me, you're going to find out that I'm a wolf when you kick in my door. Because that's what you're going to get. You kick in my door, <laughs> you're going to get some of this right here, baby. 12 gauge. Oh, I got AR-15, got AKs too, but well, this is what I feel the most comfortable with. This is what I have the most time with, and I like stopping power. And I'm also down to one hit a quitter. I'm, I'm gonna make sure I don't miss. I'm gonna get you center mass. So do not think about coming to my house. You know, I don't have fantasies of this ever happening, but if it ever happens, I'm prepared. My family's prepared, my wife's prepared, and I'm trying to teach as many people as I can to be prepared to be armed. But you can't be a victim, or you can be a victim, but I don't I don't recommend it. And don't think that uh, when someone breaks in your house that they're just gonna steal your things and leave. You have two type of home invaders. I just wanna kinda of break this down for you. You have two type of home invaders. You have the 3 a.m. home invader, and you have the 3 p.m. home invader. And let me distinguish the difference between the two. The 3 p.m. person is, you know, he's probably in there just to steal and don't think anyone's home because you're probably not at home, you're probably at work. They wanna just get in and out, but they're still dangerous. So if you come, you know, if they surprise you at home, they'll shoot. And if you come home um, to a home invasion in progress, they'll probably shoot. So they're very, very dangerous. But the number two guy, the 3 a.m. guy, that is the most dangerous one. That's the one, they don't care. You can see all your cars in the driveway. You can know you're at home. They're not there to steal. They're there to dominate you and terrorize you. So the 3 a.m. guy is the most dangerous out of all of them. They're both dangerous, but the 3 a.m. guy is what my man T Electric call the savage. Those are really, really savage people that don't give a fuck and don't give a damn. They're coming to do whatever they want to do to you and take you hostage in your own home. And that is just something I'm just not gonna go for. Like that's, you know, I hate to talk about Israel, you know, I'm just, but our country, they try to come down in parachutes, not going to fly very well. You know, even if they get me, I'm going to take somebody with me. That's just my mentality. Um, and I just try to stay ready as possible and also try to, you know, recommend that you train with your weapon as much as possible. Get it out to the range because there have been so many things I found out about guns. I found out that it doesn't like this type of ammo. I found out, you know, the certain stances, drills. I just want to run your gun. You want to know that gun. You want to be in tune with that gun. Um, like I said, I'm in tune with a pop shot gun, you know, because I've been shooting it pretty much for, for a very, very long time. So I'm very in tune with this platform and uh, it has enough stopping power to make uh, any criminal, I don't care what drug they're on, <laughs> think twice about where they are and what they're doing. And um, that's what it's all about, man, protecting yourself. Your um, God-given right is self-preservation. Uh, no politician should be able to take that from you. And um, arm up, man, arm up. And um, people that live in these terrible states, um, like let's say Connecticut, New York, um, California, the land of fruit and nuts, stop voting for those people um, that are trying to suppress your right. Well, they're not trying, they actually are. <laughs> It's terrible what people in California have to do, um, you know, to get armed and to get armed legally. New York is even worse. It's just pathetic. Um, and it's only Democrat cities that, um, you know, have this um, mindset and that idiot, that wacko over in uh, New Mexico. You got to stop voting for people like that because they do not have your best interests. They'll tell, you know, they want to legislate evil away and it just doesn't work that way. When it all comes down to it, you are responsible for you. The police will get there afterwards, but until the police get there, you're on your own. And when you're on your own, you better be armed. You better be armed. And um, I just recommend it. Go out there and get armed. If you uh, do not have uh, any uh, legal problems, get armed. And even if I didn't have any legal problems, I'd probably still be armed because I'd rather be carried by 12 and be carried by six any day of the week. You live the fight another day, you're by being carried by 12, but six, it's over, you're under. Um, but that is pretty much all I have, guys. I uh, just wanted to kind of share this video with you. Stay alert, keep your head on the swivel, protect your loved ones, arm up, train, get security, reinforce doors, reinforce windows, keep your head on the swivel, man, protect your family, protect what's yours, no one has the right to take your life. No one has a right to have you hostage in your own home. That's pretty much all I have, guys. Two, eight, up.